To create this visual, start with ramp top. Set the resolution and make a copy of this ramp. From the parameters, change the type to vertical. We will use these two ramps as the X and Y position data. Add reorder top and connect the ramps to the first and second inputs of reorder. The from the parameters change output green to input 2. Active view and press V to see the top as points. As you see it's using the ramps for the position of the points. To have 3D points, another data is needed. The position for the z-axis. For example, I add a constant to the third input of the reorder. Set the blue output to the third input. Now it uses the constant for the position of points in z-axis. White means 1 and black means 0. In this video I want to create it with noise top. Add noise. Then add limit top. From its parameters go to the quantize tab and quantize the position. Set it however you want. Add fit top. Set the resolution. And set fit to fit horizontal. Use this one instead of the constant for the blue channel in the third input of the reorder. So I made this texture that gives the 3D space with the points. To have control on R, G, and B amounts add math top. From the Range tab, adjust the ranges of the channels to get the desired result. By default, the dimensions are limited between 0 and 1. To remove the limit, from the common tab change the pixel format to 32-bit float RGB.
To make it a renderable geometry, add box SLP. Decrease the size to a minimal number. Add null, geometry, and enable instance in the geometry parameters. Add light and camera then render top. Adjust the camera. Add null and out top. You can also animate it by adding expression to the noise translate. And this is it. I also created this with this method. Thanks for watching. See you later.